All right, welcome back everyone. So in this video, we're going to be going over what orifice, orifice plates are and how do you design for them. So basically an orifice plate is a device that's used for measuring flow rate or for reducing uh, pressure or for restricting flow. And in the latter two cases where it's used for reducing flow or uh, for reducing pressure, then we often call it as a restriction plate. And it's essentially a, a thin plate with uh, a precise uh, with precise dimensions and a hole inside of that thin plate known as the orifice plate bore. And it's placed between, as you can see in this picture, it's placed between two flanges and there's a gasket, two gaskets that the orifice plate sits in between. And essentially as a process engineer, you would uh, want to know how to calculate for the hole in the orifice plate. And I'll show you the design equations in a second. And essentially, you can see here um, in the picture, there are multiple types of uh, orifice plates. You can see that the main and common type, which is the square edge concentric um, type, which is the one that I've used, uh, is standard and it's used for liquid, clean liquid, gas and steam. However, you have different uh, other different types. And essentially what you would uh, preferably do is contact uh, the supplier to provide your recommendation for which type you should use. Uh, however, some of them just make common sense. So for instance, if you use a segmental uh, bore, you'd probably need to use that if you have a process that contains slurry. And if you have some solids in the slurry that might sediment, then you would need the opening of the hole to be uh, closer to the, to the bottom uh, of, of the pipe such that there are no sedimentation or solids that accumulate under the, under the opening, under the hole. So as a process engineer, I said, it's important for you to know how to design for the size of the uh, orifice hole that you need to use in your process. And here is the design equation. So according to the Crane Handbook, the flow rate that passes through the orifice is equal to um, an orifice flow coefficient multiplied by the area of the orifice multiplied by the square root of two times the pressure drop across the orifice divided by the fluid density. Now the orifice flow coefficient that I just mentioned is essentially equal to uh, discharge coefficient divided by the square root of 1 minus beta to the power of 4. And you might be wondering, what is the discharge coefficient uh, and what is beta? And I will tell you right now. So beta is the ratio of the diameter of the orifice uh, divided by the diameter of the inner pipe that the orifice is being installed in. And the discharge coefficient is essentially a ratio of actual flow rate that passes through the orifice over the theoretical flow rate that passes through the orifice. And this is a number that's determined experimentally. And that's why in order for you to actually evaluate the, um, the orifice flow coefficient, you're going to have to refer to uh, charts um, that are based off experimental values, published data. And so you could see that the chart over here on the right hand side where you would have to uh, evaluate the coefficient, the orifice flow coefficient is a function of the Reynolds number uh, based on the diameter of the pipe uh, on the x axis. And on the right hand side, you have uh, the beta, which is the ratio of the orifice diameter to the pipe diameter. And where you land, essentially, you're going to read the axis on the left hand side, the y axis. And so you could see essentially that in, in most cases, you would have uh, an orifice flow coefficient that's somewhere between, let's say, around 0 0.6 to uh, less than 0 0.8. And that's how you would evaluate your, the flow, orifice flow coefficient. And if you look at other sources online, you could find also different ways of evaluating it, but it would essentially be. Uh, pretty much the same in terms of a range between 0 0.6 to somewhere just under 0 0.8. And you might now think to yourself, similarly, like we've discussed with the uh, flow coefficient used for valves, how do you convert that to a resistance coefficient? Because essentially, if we want to 
be able to quantify the frictional head loss using the Darcy equation. We need to find what this means in terms of a resistance coefficient. And based on Crane's handbook, they provide an approximation that you could use, which says that the resistance coefficient of the orifice is approximately equal to one minus uh, beta to the power of four divided by the orifice flow coefficient uh, to the power of two multiplied by beta to the power of four. And this equation would be useful for calculating the resistance coefficient. Now, you might be you might be wondering how can you actually uh, size orifice plates based on based on this design equation. So we're going to be going through an example in the next slide so that I could show you how you could use the design equation in a practical scenario to actually size for an orifice plate. Um, so see you in the next slide.